Welcome back to Tada 3D Printing. So I wanted to give you guys a tour of my print room. This is a shed that we turned into a printing room and this is the view you see when you first walk in. There's kind of a lot going on so let me just start over here in this front corner on the left. So when you first come through the glass doors here on my left is what I call my shipping station. I try to keep this table relatively empty so we can package things up and then below I have the boxes of all the different things that we can package up and ship out. I do have a store on Etsy so that is primarily how I sell is online. I also have a project out that I've been working on and this gives you an idea of what exactly I sell. So I make miniatures, I make miniature furniture and the dollhouses as well. So everything in this dollhouse has been made using a 3D printer. There's a few extra things like mirrors and things like that, of course, but primarily every single thing in this has been 3D printed as well as the house itself. And with my hand there, you can get an idea of the overall size. It's about 24 inches wide and 24 inches tall. Okay, then moving on, this is my newest area. I made the shipping space a little bit smaller so that I could fit the new printers. First is the new Mark IV with a wise camera in front of it and then the Prusa XL, and I also have my GoPro in front of it right now to record. And below, we've got my dog Etni knocked out. In this large box, we keep packing peanuts, and then behind that, I have my bulk filament, and then we have Buddy hanging out right there. I also have drawers that I keep anything that I need for my 3D printers in those drawers. And then next up is all of my other Prusa printers. I don't think I've really showed you guys any of these. There are six along this wall and I try to just keep them busy printing things for my miniature store. This Mark III is the very first Prusa that I purchased and I believe it was back in 2019. I purchased it fully assembled from the factory. And then a few months later I decided I needed another one so I bought this one off of somebody on Facebook Marketplace. I had been making all of my miniatures by hand and so I got into 3D printing because it would definitely speed up my process and I ended up with a lot better quality pieces. I stuck with these two for quite a while and then the mini was released and this one all the way on the left is a day one mini when that first came out. That was really huge because the size of the printer itself was great for me because I'm printing miniature items, especially if it's something new and I'm trying to just print one at a time to get the scale correct. It works out great. So after that, I continued to purchase minis. So the next one in line, as well as this one, I call it mini three in my mind. I purchased those at the same time. And then this one all the way on the right is a mini plus. So I just kind of slowly kept expanding and being able to have all these different printers. I can print different colors, different things. And then below the printers, in addition to my dog Ronix, the drawer all the way on the left is where I keep all of my different filaments that are already opened. And then all of these drawers along here are where I keep all of the stock of all of the pieces of furniture that I make. Okay, and then up above are the shelves where I store quite a few more things. So all the way on the left here is where I have some more dollhouses. So I actually make dollhouse minis in two different scales. So this is a little bit smaller size furniture. This is 124 scale, and I have them kind of set up and styled a little different ways. So those are complete dollhouses. And then above it, I have what I call room boxes. So they're just individual rooms and that's the same size scale. And then along on the right side is the larger scale again. This is 112 scale. And then I've also got some kind of overflow from my YouTube videos. So this entire shelf and it's kind of creeping and moving into the other shelves is all of the things I've printed on my videos in the past. So just kind of zoomed out, you can get a better idea of everything on my shelves. And then I had to pause and let Spy in this is usually how the dogs are right under my feet and I have to be real careful as I'm videoing this not to trip over them. Also here on the left, kind of above the XL is my split unit. So this space stays pretty comfortable no matter what the temperature is outside. So that's kind of an overview of the back wall. And then as I turn around a little bit to the right, I have two windows on this wall and a television. The space right next to the printers is where I have my laptop that I do all of my slicing. And then below that I do keep a few things in the drawer here. And this whole wall is really where I try to 
keep things that we're going to be working on. So a lot of my pieces will need to be put together and glued. So that's usually what I keep this space right here for. If there's anything we need to trim off the brim, that sort of thing. And then all the way on the right here is the light box. So of course we need to take lots of pictures for Etsy. So that's what we have here set up for. And then there's another drawer set below it. And then I'll turn my sound on so you can get an idea of how it sounds in the room. It's pretty hot outside, so I think the dogs will probably stay in here with me for quite a while and take a nap. Let me know your thoughts on my print room, and if there's anything that you want more details on, thanks for watching.